A state representative from Redford has been charged with DUI. Livonia police say back in February, state rep Mary Cavanaugh was swerving on I-96 with two flat tires. And it's actually what happened in the days and weeks that followed raising new concerns. Victor Williams following the story. Uh, Victor, she didn't tell the state House Speaker about any of this. Devin, uh, I guess it's safe to say that the House Speaker was just as surprised as the rest of us when all of this came to light. You can't rep our state if you out here drinking and driving. Constituents like Jay Sean Scott and Damon Brooks are shocked learning of State Representative Mary Cavanaugh's most recent drunken driving allegations. She should just face her consequences just like any of us. Back on February 25th, police say she was behind the wheel of a black Ford Escape when an officer noticed something wasn't right. Officers say she was driving on Merrimum near Industrial Road and then got onto I-96 East where she could be seen swerving across lanes. I just hope that she gets the same type of uh, justice that I would get if it happened to me. We're told she had two flat tires, one of them completely disconnected from the rim. When finally stopped, it said she was not able to produce her driver's license and had no idea of the damage to her vehicle. Her lawyer attorney Todd Russell Perkins spoke on her behalf after today's pretrial. My client takes this very seriously as a, as a public servant. Um, it's important that um, we all be responsible. The representative also just so happens to be a sponsor of House Bill 4220 to expunge OWI convictions. Speaker of the House Jason Wentworth had no idea what happened till now. He sent us the following statement, which reads, until today, nobody ever admitted to what happened, hoping it would go away unnoticed. And unfortunately, that means everyone is still trying to figure it out. Thankfully, the Livonia police were on alert and intervened before anything tragic happened. And Representative Kavanaugh was asked to do a field sobriety test, but the results have been redacted from the report as of now. Victor Williams, local full fact. And Victor, talk a little bit about what happened back in 2015. Well, back in 2015, Kavanaugh was told that she had to do 12 months of probation plus five years, uh, excuse me, five days worth of community service. But those charges were later dismissed. As far as this case, she is due back in court on April the 21st.